Hey everyone, thank you for joining me again. I'm still sitting in the truck. It's been a long, cold week. Those of you who are up in the same area I am, the upper Midwest, know how cold it's been up here. It was just two days ago when um, I woke up in a rest area in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. It was 10 below zero. Yeah, that was not fun. The three deliveries I had that morning, uh, my fingers were frozen. Um, unstrapping, restrapping, uh, doing those sort of tasks. Um, yeah, it's been cold. Uh, trucks put away uh, for the weekend. Um, if I don't get this video done right now, it's just not gonna get done. And a lot of you have asked me for it. Um, seems a lot of you have a start date for the Get Your CDO program. So you've applied, you've been accepted, you've been given a start date, and now you're just waiting to report to the terminal for training. And you've asked me for um, a video on tips and advice for each individual phase of the program. So I hope this video reaches you in time. Um, so let's do phase one. That's the first four weeks of the program. If you don't finish phase one, there is no phase two or three, okay? So I'm going to give you um, a bunch of tips and advice for being successful, and I hope it helps. So the first tip, be on time. So when you report to the hotel the night before the first day, make sure you get some good rest and make sure you are out in the lobby or in front of the hotel, wherever it is, you're supposed to meet the instructor and whatever time that is, uh, don't be late because the instructor is gonna take attendance and when he calls your name, um, you don't want the rest of your class looking around wondering why nobody's answering, okay? The best way to be on time is to be early. So at the start of each day, my advice is to show up a minimum of 15 minutes early. Also be on time uh, returning from your breaks and returning from lunch. Uh, again, it's very important. My next tip, pay attention. Um, that might go without saying, but believe me, there are <laughs> people in every class who just don't seem to be focused and they're not paying attention to the instructor, uh, he or she, when they're talking. And, um, you know, why sign up for a program like this or any program unless you're going to be uh, paying attention? Because the last thing you want to do is uh, fall behind because the learning curve in um, a program like this, driving a truck, right? Most of the people coming through this program have never driven a truck before. And the goal of the program, so you can pass the exam at the end and um, get your Class A commercial driver's license and start driving and making money. So um, pay attention, okay? My next tip, participate. Um, that's in class. So in the first week, there's going to be a lot of classroom. And even in the second week and in the third, there are still classroom throughout. But as the weeks go on, um, there is more driving than class. But when you're in class, it's because you're learning something that you need to know when you get behind the wheel. So you have to participate. Um, when an instructor is giving a lesson, let's say, and they ask a question and they're looking for somebody to give an answer, uh, don't be afraid to raise your hand, even if you're not sure. Um, somebody give an answer. There needs to be at least a few hands raised, people willing to participate. Um, participation will go a long way in helping not only you learn, but helping everyone else learn. Um, ask questions and take notes. So definitely um, before the instructor goes from one topic to the next, he is going to ask if there are any questions. If you're unsure about anything um, that uh, was taught in that lesson, you have to raise your hand. You have to ask. Chances are you won't be the only one who's unsure about something or has a question. Um, what you don't want to have happen 
is for uh, you or anyone else to be afraid to raise their hand, move on to the next topic, and not uh, understand fully uh, the instruction that was just given. So ask questions for sure and take notes. Uh, don't fall asleep in class, okay? Stand up if you get tired. Um, everyone's gonna be seated at tables. You're gonna be tired as the program goes along. Um, the last thing you wanna do is uh, fall asleep uh, while you're sitting there. Um, very disrespectful, um, just not a good thing, okay? So if you get tired, you think you're gonna fall asleep, get up from the chair, stand up against the wall, and until uh, you get um, better refreshed and then you can sit back down. Uh, listen to all the instructions given by the staff. So let's say you are in the truck and you're driving. You're the one driving. The rest of your uh, truck mates will be sitting in the back and you'll go through a rotation, right? Someone's got to drive first, second, third, and so on. And then once everybody gets done, you start over again. When you're behind the wheel and your instructor is in the right seat and you're driving along and he says, stop um, aggressively, don't even question why he's saying it. Just do exactly what he's saying. Chances are he saw a hazard that you didn't see. And if you question that instruction and don't do exactly what he said when he said to do it, um, there could be a problem, okay? So if you are given an instruction while you're driving, don't even wonder about it, just do it, okay? Um, when you're not in the driver's seat, you will be in the back of the truck. So the training trucks, instead of having a bed back there in the sleeper section, have three seats. Uh, they may or may not all be full, but when you're not driving, you're sitting in the back. Um, that's not the time to take out your phone and catch up on your text messages or emails or whatever else, okay? Um, that's a time to pay attention. There's a lot of value in being able to watch somebody do something when you get to try to do that very same thing right after that. You can learn a lot by watching someone make mistakes, but you can also learn a lot by watching someone do something right. So. Pay attention when you're in the back seat. Uh, be quiet when you're in the building. So when you are in the uh, classroom, it's not just like uh, there's nobody else around. You are in a room in the terminal where there are all kinds of other office personnel. And uh, the last thing you want to do is be carrying on um, during your breaks. Uh, or when you're walking, you know, down the hall to the restroom or to the vending machine or anything like that, be considerate and mindful of the other workers that are in there. Um, you do not want to disturb them by being loud, okay? Uh, let's talk about the learning curve. So depending upon any previous experience you have, whether it's with semi-trucks or not, if it can be related to the training that you're getting here in this program, um, the learning curve won't be as steep for you. Um, for some of you, it, it's gonna be steeper, okay? Just, you wanna do the best that you can every day in this training program to lessen that curve, all right? Make it so it's not so aggressive. Um, the more you pay attention and the more you um, focus on doing things right, um, the more information you can grasp and the quicker you can grasp it, um, the less aggressive that learning curve is gonna be. So that goes back to uh, paying attention, participating, and asking questions, okay? Um, make the most out of each day. Um, this training program, it, it's just not just so you can get your CDL and then forget everything that you were taught. Um, make the most out of each day, whether you're in the classroom or in the truck or standing out on the range watching your truck mate do it back. Um, don't sit there and um, check your watch 
wondering what time it is of the day. Just the days are going to be long no matter what. The best thing that you can do is to make the most out of each day. Absorb as much information as you can. Um, this way, um, the program is designed to build upon each day. Okay, so if you don't get enough out of one day to help carry over into the next, you're going to lag behind. And that's the last thing you want to do is um, get behind. All right, so make the most out of each day because, and this is the important thing, this is huge, okay, is you will fall back on this training. When you get out there um, in phase two, you're with your trainer. Um, that's actually, I think, the easiest phase of the first three um, is when you're with your trainer because you're never on your own. He's not going to let you uh, fail out there. Um, he's always going to be there to give you guidance. When you get out on your own in phase three, you're going to encounter a whole bunch of situations that are new to you. Um, you're going to encounter difficult backs at customers. Um, if you've not experienced that before, the only thing you have to fall back on is the training that you got in the first four weeks. So pay attention uh, and get the most out of every day in this first four weeks because guaranteed when you get out on your own, um, you're going to be um, finding yourself falling back on the training you received and that's what's going to get you through when you're out there on your own. All right, uh, we're almost done. Let's see here. Um, help others. All right, speaking of the learning curve, if you are someone who is doing very well, you're not struggling with a whole lot, you are uh, on the uh, easy side of the curve, uh, the downhill side, um, don't just sit back and uh, let your truck mates um, struggle help them out when you can and when you all are out there studying up on your pre-trip examinations uh, pre-trip inspections um, it's gonna be all of your trucks lined up okay you're all on break um, let's say you have uh, an extended break or you return from lunch early and there's all of you if you notice some um, trainees in an earlier week um, struggling and you've got it down, help them out, okay? Um, we're all in this together. Uh, don't keep your knowledge and the fact that you're not struggling to yourself. If you see someone else that needs help, help them out, okay? Um, if you make mistakes, and you will, um, don't dwell on the mistakes, okay? Don't let making a mistake um, keep you down. You always have to keep your chin up. Learn from your mistakes, okay? Um, the best way that you can learn from your mistakes is to um, understand how the mistake was made and know what it takes to not make it again, okay? Now that might sound sort of stupid, but um, how can you learn from your mistake if you don't understand how it happened, okay? And how can you um, not uh, commit that mistake again unless you know what it takes to fix it. Okay, but don't dwell on your mistakes. Um, keep a positive attitude and a positive outlook. So that goes along with uh, keeping your chin up, okay? Um, I made mistakes during um, phase one when I went through, and yeah, it's a bummer. It gets you down, and not only did you make a mistake for yourself, but your truck mates watched you do it, okay? Believe me, everyone's gonna make a mistake or two. Uh, you just have to maintain a positive attitude and um, keep plugging away, okay? Um, commit yourself to the program, never give up. Um, you have to be committed to succeed. You cannot accept failure at any point as an option. Um, its attitude coming into this program is going to have a lot to do with um, the outcome, just as with anything. 
if you have a um, not the greatest attitude coming in, you might not make it, okay? So have the best attitude that you can, commit yourself every day to succeed and um, do the best that you can and chances are you're not gonna have any problem. So I hope this video helped out. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Look for me at a terminal, okay? If you're in the training program right now and you see me at a terminal, my name's Bob. Um, shout my name, get my attention somehow. I'd like to meet you for sure. And if you see me out on the road somewhere at a truck stop or a rest area, um, definitely say hi, okay? Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the footage and all the information and I'll see you in the phase two video, hopefully in the not too distant future. And then after this turn, of the turn there's a, a bridge abutment and that's been hit many times by uh, trucks making left turns when they don't go wide enough okay here we go